Is it fair to ask players to play under these circumstances? Well, that would depend on, on, on whether or not it's fair to ask anybody to go to work in this day and age. Uh, if it's unfair to ask anybody to go to work in, in this day and age, then of course it's unfair to the players. But if other people are being asked to go to work in our society, then it's not unfair for them to ask them to go to work. The reality of the situation is that I've said this on many, many occasions, not to shove aside the issue and the importance of safety. I don't know how many times that I have to say that. Wear your damn mask. Put on some gloves. Engage in social distancing. You don't need to be in each other's faces, okay? S stop being stupid for the folks out there who are being stupid and selfish because you're endangering other lives by acting irresponsibly. But ultimately, what it comes down to is that we have an economy. We have an economy. You can't lay at home and wait for the government to pay your bills, to give you a check. They're not going to do it. Even when they passed a $2.8 trillion stimulus package because of uh, the, uh, the global pandemic taking fold in this country, and then they added an additional half a trillion dollars, still people got $1,200 checks. Well, how much? I'm sure that's going to help some people in our society, make no mistake about it. But there's millions upon millions upon millions of people that that's going to do close to absolutely nothing for. And so when you have have that as a reality, and you know that the players themselves are not the only ones employed by the league, even though it's a partnership, and we understand that. Uh, you know, you take away the exorbitant salaries of the superstars and then think about the players in the league, the hundreds of them who actually need their checks. Think about the hundreds of employees who actually need their check. Think about the businesses that are patronized. Think about how a sports league stimulates local economies and a national economy. All of those things are things that have to be taken into consideration. It's not just about games, and that's the thing that drives me crazy. And I'm not talking about players, because I certainly get where J.J. Redick is coming from, and I completely agree with him. I'm not pointing my finger at the players at all. I'm just addressing those who have this mentality. Oh, my goodness, the health of folks are at risk just to play a game. It's not just a game to thousands upon thousands of people, if not millions of people, that the, the games actually affect economically and monetarily. And we just need to be put on our big boy and big girl pants, grow up and accept that reality because it's in a reality that's not going anywhere. It's not a popular thing to say, but I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be popular. I'm trying to be real. And I'm telling you, that's the reality of the situation. It's inescapable, and we all just need to accept that. Yeah, I, it's funny because I don't really disagree with very much of what you said, but I still disagree with the fundamental question. I think it's not fair. And you're right. Sometimes you got to put on your big boy pants and big girl pants and deal with some unfairness. I, as anyone who is a parent knows, kids talk about all the time. Oh, it's not fair. It's not fair. I say to them, life's not fair. Like, that's what you have to deal with. But I think that it's wrong to say that other people have to go to work so the players have to go to work. I think the people, because I know, like, my, my, my friends who are lawyers and my friends who have office jobs, they aren't going to work. They are not. They're at home. They're working from home. The people who are who do have to go to work are doing some things that are essential. Like these are people who are working in our fulfillment centers for Amazon so that we can continue to get things. People who are delivering our groceries, people who are working at grocery stores, people who are working in hospitals. Like those people have to go to work. And while I understand your point, Stephen A, that this game means so much more than just a game, like the fact of the matter is, this isn't essential. It, like, it helps us all. We all love it. We like the entertainment. It gives us something to do. And I agree that there are people around these teams who don't make a lot of money and need this opportunity or need an opportunity to make more money. So I'm not trying to say that it's about the athletes necessarily. It's about the big money. I understand that it has wide-ranging impact. But this ain't essential. So I think he's – J.J. Redick is right. It is unfair to ask those guys to go in there. But I would say to that, like – Life's unfair, and you have the opportunity to say, I don't want to go. They cannot go. Many players have decided not to go for various reasons. Some of it is because of family concerns, and some of it is because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But I do think that fundamentally asking them to play is not fair. Adam Silver said he's going to be in and out of the bubble. I don't think too many team owners are going to be uh, quarantined up in the bubble. Like, So it's not fair to send the players into a hot spot a coronavirus hotspot in Florida so that we can keep this game going. They could choose to do it. I'm sure they benefit from it. I'm sure most players 
want to do it and not have it and, and not miss an opportunity to seize it. But it's not fair to ask them to expose themselves that we don't even understand this disease yet. There's new information coming out every day. I just learned this morning that it's not even a respiratory disease. It's a blood disease that it can impact all of your organs, not just your lungs. We don't know anything about it. And asking people to go out and work in the midst of it is not fair to the people who work in fulfillment centers and it's not fair to basketball players either. You know, Neek, let me be additive to that. You know, if, if we were five, six years out and we had data that supported, you know, what the end answer was, I, I think that would help us with a better assessment. But you're absolutely right. We don't know. And Stephen A., back to your line. You know, I, I, I've heard you on the show multiple times talk about the economy. You know, when you compare health to the economy, let, let me say this, and I really want you to hear me, Stephen A., on this one. Protecting health is not getting in the way of economic recovery, okay? Protecting health is the route to economic recovery. So there are levels of unfairness all the way around on this one for, for a lot of people. I hear exactly what you're saying. But if you're talking about the level of unfairness to go to a bubble where the NBA, who has mass resources, and they're trying to find a way to do this correctly, and it still seems like they are figuring this out on the fly. Like, yeah, I feel bad for NBA guys to disappoint. I feel even worse for people who are doing the essential things for all these other companies that are trying to turn profits and they don't even go to the same, uh, the same levels of stress that the league is going to to protect their employees. I mean, so yeah, there are levels of unfairness and I, I don't like this whole conversation all the way around. And for anybody that just wants to say, well, everybody has to go to work. Yeah, I hear you guys on that, but we don't have all the data to support what the end game will be. And we're still assessing this thing on the fly. So I, I, I hear it, um, you know, I, to go back to the question again that Neek said, I, I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair for anybody. Well, first of all, let me tell y'all something right now. Here's where both of y'all lose this argument. Because you missed the key word in the question. Is it fair to, quote, unquote, ask? None of the players are forced. Victor Oladipo ain't showing up. Avery Bradley ain't showing up. There's plenty of players that ain't showing up. Is it fair to ask? Now, if the word force was in there, that would be a totally different discussion. But it's not force. It's a request. 